Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you the next thing that Funhole sent me. It's a little bit smaller, but it's going to be no less cool than the other one that we got. So if you want to see what's in this box and see us build it, make sure you stay tuned. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five. No mean boss. Just my life and free thoughts. Hello, BSC family, and welcome back to my bench. So today, I'm going to show you what's inside this box. Uh, we got this from Fun Hole. Uh, they sent it to me free of charge to review for you guys, but I am in no obligation to say good things or whatever about them. Uh, all the opinions of this is going to be of my own and my wife's opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't seen the first one that we did, we did the saloon. Uh, I'll leave a card up here in the corner for you so you can go check that out after. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely hit that bell notification. Make sure that all notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want to find out ways to help out the channel, I'll let you know at the end of the video. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to show you what's inside of it. Uh, this here is pretty epic. And um, it comes with four men instead of three like the other one. This one is a little smaller in pieces. Uh, but that's fine. It makes it no less cool. Uh, so if you like building blocks and having integrated LEDs, definitely give a check on Funhole. I will leave a link to them in the description down below along with this product. And uh, you can go check out all the rest of the stuff they've got. They've got the Western. They've got uh, a little bit of sci-fi. They've got the farm style settings. They also have... Uh, the medieval, they got the steampunk stuff, and, and many others. So go check them out, and uh, yeah, have some fun with your kids and your family, just like uh, the wife and I do. So give me a minute, I'm going to open this up, and I'll be right back. Hey everybody, so much like the last one that we did, uh, this comes with everything you need. All the LEDs, the book uh, of instructions, and every little part. Now, we did have a few little leftover parts last time, which, uh, you know, is probably common. But uh, none were missing. So, that was a good thing. Now, once again, we have a pretty thick book here. And this one is just a little fewer pieces. But, again, very clear pictures. Now, last time... With the dark brown, yeah, the dark brown is still the same, but I mean, it may take time to change things, if they're going to change it. Uh, what we found last time was with the dark brown, um, it's, it's hard to see, like all the little, you know, nibs that, like Lego, right? They, it's hard to see any of the, the lines because they used a really dark brown and a black line. Now, I suggested in the last video or commented that they should change their drawing so that the, uh, the dark brown has a light gray uh, line work on it so that it makes it easier to see and count. But you can see it, so as long as you have good lighting, you can see and able to count. But again, if it was light gray, it'd be a lot easier. The medium brown was fine. I think everything else was fine. Um, because on the black, any of the black stuff, um, they used a, a gray a gray line as well. See, like here, it's gray. So, see again here, kind of a light gray or white on the black. So if they had that on the dark brown, that's the medium brown, that one's fine. But again, on the dark brown, if they had a light gray, it would be awesome. So this one here looks like it's got jail cells, you know, lighting outside, lamp posts, stairways on the outside. We got the office equipment, you know, poster board, different things like that. 
lighting inside you know tells you where all the the wires have to go so that everything works out properly so yeah we got a nice book there what do we got here this is oh service card okay this here just has information and if you need help or you're missing some parts there's information on here on how to contact them again you get your box here that is uh, has your LEDs and your battery pack so it looks like we got one pack of LEDs we got a light brown battery pack now that was something else as well uh, the switches I think they need to switch them no pun intended but they should be either on the side or on the top of the uh, male side of the Lego or the connecting blocks not on the female side because once you put that on the roof which is where I'm assuming this one goes just like the sheriff's or the saloon uh, once it's pressed down how do you get that switch how do you turn it on and off I mean you only got that much room so you know if you uh, you know unless you got really thin fingers this switch should be on top or on the side so but other than that uh, you get a set of a pair of these uh, tweezers which is always good especially like me i'm in the hobby of modeling and stuff so again go check out all of my videos and everything else in here is just all your packs your packs are numbered along with the book so you got pack eight and pack nine big pack nine pack two you know and so on you got letter f so yeah, you just follow the book uh, and you'll go step by step. So there is a lot of bags. Now one thing the wife and I did last time is we had a, uh, an old butter container or big Tupperware container that you can dump your parts into so you don't accidentally knock them off the bench or... Um, you know lose the pieces They're, they kind of contain them a lot more and then you can also sw swish them around so that you can find the little parts I do suggest opening only the pack numbers that you need don't open them all because then you'll really be looking a long time to find certain parts all right so yeah that's basically everything that's in this box all right Now, if there is stickers, here's some base pieces. Um, maybe I didn't see them. It could be in that pack, uh, that FO pack there, but there should be, if there is any, a pack of stickers. But anyways, here is some of the stuff that they, uh, this is their newest one, the Sheriff's. All right, let me zoom in a little bit for you. That's the newest one. That's the sheriff's office. But like I said, they have Christmas A-frames and uh, winter scenes, ocean scenes, uh, some ruined temples in the jungle. This is all steampunk stuff. Uh, Middle Ages, so you got into the uh, medieval stuff, which is probably even cool for D&D. Uh, uh, &D. But they got the train and the airship for steampunk uh, train station get into the old west um, we've got stuff from ancient architecture farming all oh, the tractors new that's cool uh, farm truck with the uh, all your food we got the log cabins tree houses another log cabin here hunting cabin you know uh, lakeside lodges a frames some vehicles and each and every one of them do have um leds in them so again go check them out if you're interested and i'm going to sort this stuff out and we're going to get to building this stuff so i will see you in a few okay so we've actually gotten quite uh quite a ways through this here and it's going pretty good um again the only things is the dark brown uh pictures they should have a light gray 
uh, lining on them. Other than that, uh, everything is going pretty darn good. So, um, here's where we're at so far, if I can get this. So, as you can see, here we got the front and the, and the porch. And the porch area, you know, moves a little bit. And it's not really supposed to, but uh, we got a light under here. And I can't demonstrate the lights on this one this time around, just because of the, the setup on it. There's actually a contact pad here. And then there's another piece here that will contact it. And that plugs into the battery pack, right? So, anyways, we've got that far. Uh, we've got the part of the back door. As you can see, there is a desk in there with a desk lamp and light. There is a light on the wall. And we've got the chair and a gun rack over here. Right? We've got the jail cell. And I'll show you that in a second. One set of windows. And uh, we got a set of stairs going up over here. Not quite sure what this is. Um, looks like bottles and stuff sitting here. Um, but I'm not sure why the sheriff would have bottles there. But who knows. But anyways, there's that. Now, as far as the... Uh, you take this off. And here is the jail cell, right? Now there is chains and stuff in there, but it's actually really hard to see. i pop this off maybe. Well, that's part of it. Right here. Now, I don't know if you can see in there at all. There is like little shackle chains and stuff like that and a bench for the uh, prisoner to sit on. I'll put that back together in a minute here. So Okay, so now that once that's together, right, that there just kind of slides through this hole. Right, and it just sits in that space there. Now also we've started the upstairs. So we've got the little fireplace here. Another set of windows. Uh, looks like a family picture or something like that. Again, here's the windows. And that's, uh, that's all we've got so far. So we're going to start on uh, section 6. And uh, we're going to continue on. And it looks like I'm going to need the next set of lights for the upstairs stuff. So once we've got a bunch of that done, um, I'll come back. I'll show you what we've got. And we'll go from there. I'll see you in a few. Okay, everybody, if you remember in my last video um, about uh, the other one I did, the uh, saloon, the battery pack, right? Now, the way the battery pack is, is it's got the indents on this side to stick onto the roof, right? But the major main problem was the switch was on the bottom, so you always had to take it off to be able to use it. So what they did <coughs> was make these little cubes right and it goes on the uh, dimple side or the the bump side i guess or whatever you want to call it and basically turn reverses it so now instead of using uh, the whole side to stick down you can actually flip it over putting the switch on top that is awesome that is awesome that they did that uh, probably save them from redesigning the whole box. Uh, maybe they've gotten a whole bunch of complaints saying the same thing, that the switch should have been on the opposite side. So by doing this, it basically puts the switch up and you don't have to disconnect it anymore. So I just wanted to, uh, to say that and uh, show you that's what they did. And yeah, thank you very much, Funhole. And again, go check them out. You know, there's uh, all kinds of stuff, you know, that you could build anywhere from the old wild west to farming to uh, steampunk uh, all kinds of stuff vehicles uh, log cabins all kinds of things and some of the log cabins would look pretty cool with this set so yeah go check them out link for them will be down in the description so we're going to get back at it and uh, well maybe as i sit here as you can see here we've got the uh, upper portion on and again there's another door right and we'll get the lights going for you here shortly, and then I'll show you everything. But 
as you can see inside there's a bathtub a bed uh, a little safe in there that actually opens up and there's i don't know a gold coin or a gold pouch whatever you want to call it but anyways there's that and there is the the door on the outside here right and there's a light here so it's a junction box up top so we're going to get back to this and uh, I'll show you again. Um, probably getting close to being finished, so I don't know if there'll be another update before the end. But this is where we're at. So I will see you in a few. Okay, everybody, here it is. It is finally done. So as you can see, we've got the sheriff's office. We've got a few men. There's a couple more inside. And I'll show you that in a minute. As you can see, there is a lot of detail to this uh, to this box set, and uh, you know, as I turn this thing around here, we've got the porch with the front door. We've got a set of stairs with a side door up here. All right, you can see inside. And we go around to the back side here. We got two opening doors. I'll show you that in a minute. We've got a walking ladder up here so you can get up onto the roof and do stuff. You've got the jail cell itself. Over here we've got plants, we've got, you know, garbage and logs for your fireplace. We've got the poster sign for wanted and things like that. You know, it looks pretty darn good. Um, it actually went together really, really nice. So, if we go in here, we've got the first door here that we can open up. And as you can see inside here. So, inside here, we've got the sheriff's office. And as you can see, there is the sheriff sitting in his chair. Nice little mirror and detail in the background. Um, we have the camera. And then, as you can see in this corner here. We do have the jail cell and there's somebody in it. I'll show you that a little better in a minute. Then on the wall itself, we've got a gun rack and a sheriff's plaque and things like that. All right. Oh, it's a nice little detail in there. Now if we go to the top one, we've got the sheriff's quarters, I'm assuming. We've got yourself a fireplace. We've got a safe in there and you can actually open up that safe. It slides out, there's a coin in there kind of a pain to reset so I'm just gonna leave that there we've got the bed in the corner we've got a hanging lantern we've got a wall lantern we've also got the bathtub with a hat rack and he's obviously got his bourbon or something sitting there and we got a set of keys on the wall of course the outside door All right now for on the roof <coughs> So on the roof, we have this panel here. This one here doesn't do much. It kind of opens up a little bit, but it doesn't do anything, right? But this side here, you can take this off, right? You can see some of the wiring and stuff that's here, and you have the battery pack, right? So we're going to leave the battery pack off for a few minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this back down. So as you can see, we're going to turn this light off. We're going to turn the highlight off. We're going to reach up here. We're going to turn on the lighting. So as you can see, we've got a porch light. You can see inside the windows that there's lights. If we come around to this side here. We have a uh, lantern hanging on the wall. Come around to the other side. We also have a light hanging up here. All right. Now, again, if we come back to the back side, we open up the top one this time. As you can see, the hanging lantern is on. Wall lantern is on. <clears throat> Lights it up very well. All right. As well as down here. Now, there is a wall lantern, as you can see, right in the back. And then we got the desk lamp. Right. So this thing is pretty freaking cool. Now, if we turn this back on, this here piece actually slides out. Let me take this off. And again, you can kind of see inside there. Right, you get the camera. You get the sheriff sitting back there in the corner. 
But in here, we have our little uh, prisoner in there. Now you can open this, but it does clip it all four corners, so it's a little hard. But there is a, uh, a bench in there for him to sit down and everything else, all right? And there's a little roof that you can open up, but it doesn't open very far again, you know. So yeah, this here just kind of slides right into place. It's a very tight fit, so it fits just in the right spot. So yeah, if you're looking for one of these, Make sure that uh, you go check out Fun Hole. Link for them will be down in the description, right? This was uh, an awesome little thing that they sent us, um, you know, and we had fun with this one. And again, if you haven't seen the other one yet, um, I'll leave a link up here in the corner for you. And uh, you can check out the other one that they sent us to build for us to review for you guys. Uh, yeah, go check them out. And big thanks to them. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, bell notification, make sure that all notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on anything. Give me a follow on my Instagram and my Facebook groups, the links for them are down in the description. If you want to help out the channel in any way, I have a PayPal me link, I have a join button, and I have a merch store. Links for all of that stuff is down in the description as well. Please leave your comments and thoughts down below. And with all that said, no matter what you're building, doesn't matter if it's plastic models or plastic block. Make sure you have fun and make sure you build it your way. And until next time, later.